Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. This problem has an interesting history. It is an example of a Sangaku, which was a wooden tablet that contained a mathematical theorem or geometric problem that was given as an offering during temples in Japan during the Edo period. This particular problem appeared at the Katayama Hiko Shrine in 1873. Here's a modern version of the question. We have two circles and a square. Suppose that each circle has a radius that's equal to 5. The question is what is the area of the square? Let's go through the steps one by one. We have a circle with the radius that's equal to 5. So let's take this radius and let's construct some other radii that will be useful. Let's rotate this radius down to the corner of the square. Because it's a radius, it will have the same length that's equal to 5. We can also take this radius length and we can swing it down to the point of tangency. Since it's a radius, this will also have the same length and it's equal to 5. Let's now suppose the side of the square has a length that's equal to x. This side of the square is perpendicular to the horizontal line, as is the radius that's shown on the left. So we can translate this line over to the radius, and this length will also be equal to x. Now let's construct a horizontal line right here, and it will split this radius into two lengths. The bottom length will be equal to x, and the top length will be equal to 5 minus x. Let's do this same sort of procedure on the other side of the square. We have this horizontal side, and we will translate it to the horizontal radius. Now in this case, notice that this horizontal line is being bisected exactly where the two circles intersect. So if we were to draw the tangent line, this would exactly bisect the square. So each of these lengths will be equal to half the side length of the square, so each length will be equal to x over 2. Let's now draw a vertical line right over here, and we will divide up this horizontal radius into two lengths. One length will be x over 2, and the other length will be equal to 5 minus x over 2. But we can now bring this length down to the other part of this rectangle, and this length will also be equal to 5 minus x over 2. We now have a right triangle, which is a mathematician's best friend. So we can focus just on this right triangle. Since we have a right triangle, the square of 5 minus x plus the square of 5 minus x over 2 is equal to the square of 5. So all we need to do is solve this equation for x to get the side length of the square. So let's work on just this equation. We now need to expand two binomials. So let's go ahead and do that. We will then collect like terms. We will bring all the x squared terms together, the x terms together, and the constant terms together. We end up with the following equation. Now to get rid of this fractional coefficient on x squared, we will multiply both sides of the equation by 4 over 5. We end up with the quadratic equation x squared minus 12x plus 20 is equal to 0. This can be factored, and the resulting equation is the quantity x minus 2 multiplied by the quantity x minus 10 is equal to 0. This gives two solutions, that x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 10. So now let's interpret these two values. Let's go back to our original diagram. Now notice the radius was equal to 5, and the way we set it up is that x would be a portion of that. So we know that x has to be less than or equal to 5, so we can eliminate the solution that x is equal to 10. So the unique solution to this problem is that x is equal to 2, and that is the side length of the square. We need to get the area of the square, and that will be equal to x squared, and therefore the area of the square is equal to x squared, which equals 4 square units. And that's the answer! Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.